Hey everyone, and welcome back to Dom's Talk! Today, I want to chat about life beyond anxiety. As someone who struggled with anxiety for over a decade, I know firsthand how crippling it can be. It impacted my ability to work, study, and just engage in life. But recently, I've had this realization that I want to start planning for a future beyond anxiety. I've got some big goals and dreams, and I'm ready to start taking steps to make them happen. So first up, I want to talk about my plans for further education. Back in school, I missed a lot of classes due to sleep issues, which impacted my grades. I ended up with a grade E in maths, but I know I'm capable of so much more. So I'm planning to retake my maths GCSE and aim for at least a grade C. A higher maths grade will open up so many more job and educational opportunities for me. Eventually, I'd like to pursue higher education through Open University or a similar program. It'll take some time, and I know I need to balance it with work, but <laughs> I'm determined to make it happen. Next on the agenda is learning to drive. I'm so ready to have the independence and flexibility that comes with driving. Plus, it'll open up more job prospects that either require a car or at least a license to drive one. As a bonus, I'm hoping that being in control as the driver will help me overcome the motion sickness I sometimes feel as a passenger. I'm planning to start with two to four hours per month and slowly build up my skills. I know it might take a while uh, on my current budget, but you know, every lesson counts. I also want to share a bit about my fitness journey. I started exercising regularly about two or three months ago, and let me tell you, it was rough at first. I could barely do a single push-up, but now I'm up to seven or eight with much better form. I've been adding in new exercises too, planks and weights, to really round out my routine, you know? A big focus for me is building core back strength to help with some previous pain issues, and the results are starting to show. I've lost about 1.6 stone so far, and I can feel myself getting stronger. <laughs> my ultimate goal is just to reach a level of everyday fitness where I can walk and function without pain. I know it's going to be a slow process after a, you know, a decade of inactivity, but I'm motivated to keep pushing forward. And finally, I want to share a pretty amazing development. After over a decade of being a total ghost, some of my old school friends actually reached out to me on social media. It was such a pleasant surprise, especially since it happened just as I'm starting to feel ready to engage with people and the outside world again. They were super understanding about my long absence after seeing some of my videos I've made about my anxiety journey. Um, we're planning to meet up soon and maybe even get involved in their Warhammer hobby down the line, which sounds awesome, by the way, don't get me wrong. And so if you're struggling with anxiety too, I highly recommend setting up a social media account. It can help enable those connections even after years have passed. So that's my little overview of my future plan, tackling further education, learning to drive, continuing to work on my fitness, saving up and reconnecting with old friends. I know none of these things will happen overnight, you know? It's going to take consistent effort, but I'm feeling extremely optimistic and determined to keep my taking those small steps forward. And so I'm excited to keep sharing this journey with all of you. If I can leave you with one message, it's this. Anxiety may have taken a decade from me, but I'm determined to make the rest of my life amazing and I hope you'll join me. Take care.